Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. The search is over for the couple accused of taking their infant son from a hospital after they were suspected of child abuse. 32-year-old Jeanette Funen and 23-year-old Damon Klingensmith were found in Marshall County, Tennessee after federal agents were tipped off about their whereabouts. They are charged with child endangerment as well as intimidation, retaliation, or obstruction in a child abuse case. The couple allegedly took their son from a Pittsburgh hospital's emergency room before he could be examined by the doctor. Hospital staff had reported that the baby had stomach trauma and bruising consistent with abuse. An upstate New York limo crash that killed 20 people could lead to new federal safety regulations. The National Transportation Safety Board is calling for seat belts to be requi required in limos. These safety recommendations come nearly a year after the modified 2001 Ford Excursion blew through a stop sign in Schoharie. The safety board is recommending requiring lap and shoulder belts on new vehicles modified to be used as limousines. The agency is also recommending performance standards for seats in new limos. Field and Stream in Big Flats is being sold according to documents filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Dick Sporting Goods, who owns the store, is selling eight of the stores, including the Big Flats location. The stores are reportedly being bought by Sportsman's Warehouse for $28 million. Now, Dick has not said why it's selling the eight stores, but the sale is expected to go through on October 11th. The winner of the popular Netflix series Blown Away will be at the Corning Museum of Glass this week. Deborah Churresco's residency at the museum was part of the prize package from winning the glass blowing competition series. Churesco, who works in Brooklyn, beat out nine other glassmakers. She'll be doing live demonstrations at the museum through October 6th. Today, she was assisted by some of the museum's hot glass demo team, who actually supported her during the final episode of the show. Week long residency with a, a killer team that's like also got a lot of experience that will allow me to make anything I want. Um, and this is really key to taking what I had in the show and the celebrity and notoriety I had in the show, but really moving it forward into a realistic way in my life. Uh, so. I need new work to do that. I need to get um, the world interested in what I do and continue that, um, you know, that interest from galleries and things, what I want to do with my career. On day one, I made some of the oh-so-popular potato pieces uh, called Forgotten Potatoes. And I think they're really uh, beautiful. They're coming out of the kiln later on today. And today I'm working on car parts that I'm going to make a new chandelier uh, for. I'm working on a chandelier series, and I really want to use this residency to make the next incarnation in that chandelier series. Today we're working on hubcaps, and the whole chandelier is going to be like hanging hubcaps, very inspired by the storefronts of New York City. You can also see Deborah's piece, Meet Chandelier, in the museum's new exhibit called New Glass Now. She'll be doing live demonstrations now through the 6th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you can't make it this week, Tresco will be back from the 14th through the 17th. Meteorologist Kim Walker is up next with your Big Fox forecast. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. It's been an overcast day, but temperatures did manage to warm up into the upper 70s. By tomorrow, that storm system will be a little bit closer to our area, and so our chances of rain will start to increase. And so it's going to be off and on for your Thursday. And along with that front, it is going to be a lot cooler with temperatures dropping down into the 40s and even some 60s out there. So uh, we are expecting the much warmer conditions out ahead of the front. Behind it, it is going to be dropping. So here's a look at what you can expect. Expect. It's going to be dreary and rainy tomorrow and it's going to be much cooler with temperatures with highs only in the 50s in many locations. Morning showers on your Friday. It will be breezy, but we should see a little bit of clearing by the afternoon and then over the weekend it is going to be cold. We could start off with some frost, but then lots of sunshine and it's going to stay chilly for your Saturday. So for tonight we drop down to around 46 degrees in Elmira, 48 degrees in Corning, occasional showers and 
by tomorrow. Our highs will only climb up into the 50s. So 59 for Corning, 58 in Elmira, 55 in Perkinsville. Just a little bit warmer in Hornell at around 61 degrees. But rain will be likely for today or for tomorrow and temperatures will be a lot cooler as well. We're going to stay with the chilly conditions through your Friday. But notice by Friday night into early Saturday, we drop down to around 34 degrees. So there could be some patchy frost. So if you have any tender vegetation out there, you definitely want to cover them up if you want them to live in the next few days. 60 degrees though are high on Saturday afternoon as we make our way toward the end of the weekend. Temperatures will warm up to around 66 on your Sunday. There is the possibility of showers and thunderstorms though as we head into early next week with another cold front coming in. So by Monday our high will only be around 62 degrees and then we drop down to around 60 on Tuesday and Wednesday. Again we could see a little bit of frost Wednesday morning. So it looks like uh, it looks like the cooler air is here with those possibilities of frost in some of those mornings. Yeah, finally feeling like fall as we're moving into October. Yeah, it's getting a little bit chilly out there as well. All right. Thank you, Kim. And thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.